Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for New Year's Eve 2020. Last day of the year, we're about to ring in the, the new year, so let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. At the heart of your reading, we have justice. This is karma being served. Everything's going to be brought into balance for the greater good of all, exactly the way that life should be in order to set things up for moving forward into the new year. Let's see what your challenge is. We have temperance. So integrating some changes there's um, there's more to the situation that needs to be brought in. And you may feel resistant to that. This may cause some change. Um, it, may it may require uh, a change in behavior from you. In your focus, I do see um, a desire for more material resources here. So... You may be looking for justice in terms of um, money, in terms of income, or uh, divvying up resources. You're focused on what you don't have versus what you do have. In the recent past, we have lots of options. With the Seven of Potions, that tells me that you've perhaps been confused about what you really wanted because there were multiple possibilities in front of you that just had you a little bit like drawn in multiple directions. You might have tried something out and then not really known how you felt about it and then had feelings for more than one thing at a time. All of that is about to be brought into balance though with this justice card because the justice energy will not suffer confusion. Or, or split energy. At the uh, crowning position, the energy of your environment, we have the queen of presence. This is very nurturing energy. Universe just wants to take care of you here. Universe is trying to nurture you, trying to mold you into a better version of yourself, a more optimized version of yourself. That's really coming through as well with the, the temperance card. It's saying be patient. Things are going to work out the way that, that it's meant to. You're in good hands here. This is all happening for you, not to you. Let's see what's coming up next. In the near future, we have the Ace of Candles reversed. So this is a new spark of passion. It's a motivation in a new direction. It's also an opportunity to act on that from the universe. Um, it is in reverse, so it may be that, yeah, you just qu can't quite see how it's going to make you happy. So you may be, um, n I, okay, let me think of how to say this. It's like, because they're giving me a big block of thought here. I'm trying to decipher it and translate it for you guys. It's like, universe has an entire novel of opportunity for you to build on this passion and the way it ends up is with you expansive and joyful meeting your full potential for this stage in your life but all you can see is the cover of the book it's it's an that's the best analogy i can come up with it's like you're you're looking at the cover art you're trying to decipher uh, is this, and this is a metaphor for an opportunity that you can take in life. You're just somewhat like, oh, I, don't, I don't know if I want to read that book. I don't know if I'm going to like that story. It's that sort of energy. You're just, you're tepid about wanting to engage with it. I think because this energy is still recent. This energy of having a lot of options and the universe wants to nurture you toward taking this new passionate opportunity it's something that's really going to light you up inside. Let's see what your surprise energy is. We have rethinking the plan with this two of candles being reversed. That tells me that there's going to be an opportunity to, to make changes to what you thought was going to come next in your life. 
It's not abandoning the plan, it's tweaking the plan. And yeah, because you're going to stall out, chariot reversed at the bottom of the deck, you're not really going to have as much forward momentum. That's going to cause you to reevaluate and idealize or optimize, optimize the plan so that you can become more aligned and move forward. Let's see your hopes and fears. We have the Ace of Presence and the Five of Candles reversed. So you do want to seize an opportunity in order to avoid conflict. Um, I think that's part of your um, hesitancy to grasp this new Ace of Candles energy because you sense that there's going to be big challenge that comes along with it and you would love the opportunity without the challenge so it's almost like you're looking for a way to 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 rip out some of the pages of the story and take it piecemeal and i'm not sure that's what the universe has in mind for you it looks like Universe wants you to go on this journey that is going to come along with some challenges and some ups and downs. Nevertheless, you are keen to take hold of an opportunity. You just want to know. Let me highlight the, the, the difference here. Universe is going to hand you something that is that lights you up from a soul perspective. You would like to take an opportunity that's more tangible, that you perceive as more quote unquote real. Not something that you have to check in with uh, your intuition about, not something that you have to sense, but something that you can touch and hold. So you're, it would be less challenging with that five of candles reversed for you to adopt and embrace this newness and get on board with it if you could if you could really grasp the the realness of it like what does it mean in a real tangible sense and i think that's what you know that's what has you seeing this reversed it's a little bit like okay that's just a desire but it it isn't necessarily real you're not seeing it as totally real So, okay, what I want to caution you for with that position of hopes and fears is that you could um, miss out on a great opportunity if, you've, um, if you need for it to be something tangible and you pass up the opportunity because you can't quite suss out um, how you can turn the possible into the actual. Let's see how this all culminates. The end result, we have the two of potions in reverse. This is um, backing away from an option that used to uh, seem very positive to you. Something that you'd been committed to is going to end. It's no longer going to be part of your life. I feel by your choice. Let's clarify that for you. Why is the two of potions here reversed? We have the five of needles reversed because it's um, it's not allowing you to have a clear mind and the world because it's just it's it, the, nat the natural ending. It's just time for this to end. Yeah, you you are looking for opportunities to heal here. It's a challenge for you to be patient enough to take the time to go through this experience. But you are hopeful for something new. You are letting your environment um, guide you through. You're somewhat resistant. You're somewhat um, saying, let me see if I can hold out for another one of these possibilities to pay off because I'm not sure that I like the opportunity that I'm being presented with here in the near future. But at the end of the day, you will bring about 
the completion of a major cycle. So you will be embarking on this new journey because after you complete one story, you just continue on and start a new one. Let's see what advice Spirit has for you to best make use of these energies for your highest and best good. Spirit, what advice do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you. We have the Nine of Potions. Zero in on what you truly want out of the situation. What do you believe in your heart of hearts is actually going to make you happy? So these aren't like desires such as I'd love a new watch. I'd love a new pair of shoes. A new pair of shoes isn't going to make you complete. It's not going to give you a sense of abiding joy. This is zeroing in and becoming aligned with what is going to actually make you happy. It's the the resolution of this energy that you've been in in the recent past with the seven. The seven is having lots of possibilities and not being able to clarify which one of them is going to make you happy. This energy that where you pull in your greatest wish, it's as soon as you decide which one of these cups, which one of these potions is going to be the elixir that's going to bring about your emotional fulfillment. So your advice is work that out and and that's your your key to success here. As soon as you work it out, it will be energetically drawn toward you and you'll receive your wish come true. Sagittarius, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching throughout 2020. It's been a pleasure reading for you. Thanks for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. I couldn't do this channel without you and it's been a real pleasure, so thank you. Um, if you're going out tonight, please be safe because I'd love to see you back tomorrow for the January 1st reading, kick off 2021 together. So take care, be safe, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.